In this video I'm going to be showing you our cut section and composite cut uh, with our section planes. Uh, here we have our project. It's a rather large project and I want to see certain portions of inside of the building and I'm going to do that using our cut plane system. So I'm going to go to our tools control and enable cross section and I'm going to turn that on. When I do that Plane 1 is selected, and I have this blue translucent plane. Let's zoom out a little bit so you can see a little bit better. It's going to follow my cursor. So where my cursor goes, that's where that plane is going to be cut. It also follows the camera, so you can get very specific angles on what you want to see. So I'm going to zoom over here, and I'm going to line up with the face of this wall. And just on the inside of that wall, I'm going to make a cut. All right. And that's a good cut. I can see pretty well inside my building. Um, I highlighted the pipes and the ducts already, so I wanted to get a good view of those. Now, it's a little dim on the inside. I want to see a little bit clearer, so I'm going to switch over to our abstract mode. Now I'm not distracted by all the materials and the high resolution render. So that's good. I'm okay with that. I want to make another cut. We'll go back to our section cut. We'll select plane 2 and enable. It'll give us another blue plane. We'll just come right around here. And I'll just do right on inside of this building here. And if I make the cut and then I decide maybe I want it a little bit deeper in, I want to rotate it or move it in a certain way, then I'll just hit Edit Selection and this gizmo will pop up. Now the, uh, the red and the green arrow are just going to change your, your viewpoint. So what you want to focus on. So I want to focus right around here. And then the blue will move your section plane to take away geometry or bring back geometry. And I'll put it back to... That's good. So now we have two section planes and we have kind of a 90 degree cut here. Now the nice thing about the section planes and the composite cuts is that you can get angles that you might not be able to get from a section box um, or just a single section plane. So what I'm going to do now is I have this building right here as a, at a 45 degree angle kind of jutting out. I want to get a view of inside of that dome. Um, so I'm going to select plane 3, enable, and I'll line up with this building which is pretty pretty well lined up. And I'm just going to make my cut right about here. Okay. Now we have have a pie slice wedge of our project showing us different sections of our building. I can see more of my pipes and ducts are highlighted down here. See those pretty well. Uh, and now what I want to do is I want to actually cut off part of the top of these buildings. So to do that, I'm going to enable my fourth plane. And it is not going to cut off the top of the building, so I'm going to select the vertical. So now we're cutting on a vertical. And I'm going to select right on the inside of my second floor. And that worked out pretty well. Now I can see the second floor very clearly. And if I wanted to edit this, maybe I wanted to see the first floor. It's the same process as the horizontal plane. Zoom out a little bit so you can see it better. I'm just going to take this uh, blue arrow and move it down. And now I can see my first floor and my duct system. And that's how we use our composite cut section planes.